Welcome to Van Life in Japan! Hi, my name's Ali, and for the next week, I'm gonna be living out of this mini camper in Japan. Yours truly is gonna drive. Yeah. Japan is well known for its bustling cities like Tokyo, but did you know that for just 40 US dollars per day, you can drive and sleep anywhere in the country? So today, we're gonna be putting this mini camper to the test and see if it's worth it. Let's go! This video is brought to you by Rosetta Stone. Good morning from Kyoto. So this morning we've just finished having this awesome breakfast. We're currently at a machia, and this has been a very different experience than what tonight is gonna be like. We're just about to head out and I'm honestly a little bit nervous. We are about to head on over to the camper van rental place. I've never rented a camper van before or lived van life, so this should be interesting. We made it on the bullet train. Okay, so we are officially on route to Tokyo. We bought some snacks and now we're just getting ready for our two hour journey back to Tokyo. Inari is kind of like one of my go to's here and it has like some sesame seeds inside and kind of like a sweet taste. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to drive, or Tristan's ready to drive. Yeah, we're ready. Woo. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. And I've never driven on the left side of the road, so <laughs> we're in for an interesting time. So the camper van rental place is kind of in the countryside. So this is one of those times when there is no escalators or elevators. So gotta carry the bags yourself. <laughs> or get a boyfriend. Or get a boyfriend. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Light work. <laughs> so for the past week, pretty much any time we see like a minivan, we've been making the joke like, oh, that's probably what our camper is gonna look like because the cars here are so small. And we're just trying to mentally prepare because we think it's gonna be a pretty tight squeeze for us. So I think that's probably what I'm most nervous for is just kind of seeing exactly how small it is. <laughs> we're here, we've made it. It's just a shed, I love it. Okay, let's go get it. We made it. We made it. We're in the van. Oh my gosh, this is gonna this is gonna be interesting. I'm so underqualified for this. How are you feeling? Good. This is uh it's thrilling. We got our first uh, necessary repair on the car. She's hanging. We gotta get her lifted up here. So our first stop, we are doing two things. First of all, we had to fix the tire, and when I say we, I mean we got her. <laughs> the tire was kinda yeah. Banging on the bottom. This is the, so. the spare tire. And then next we are at Aeon. Okay, so we're here at the Aeon Mall because we need to get some things. The camper van does come with a lot of different types of things that we can use, but we need some more. Oh, you look like they have towels. My tones. <laughs> AI said I look good with this color. <laughs> We're back! We're back. <laughs> okay, so we ended up getting a couple more things than we originally thought, but all of it is completely necessary. First of all, food. By the time we get to our location, it's probably gonna be pretty dark outside, so we're thinking to just start setting up camp pretty immediately. Then, we got some essential water for the week. Um, this is road snacks. Oh my gosh, I forgot there was ice cream in here. Oops, eating it now. Okay, great, great. We got some popcorn. This was an impulse buy. Necessities, um, such as towels. And then we also got actual hand towels, which we ended up having to open inside the store because I got a bloody nose. All is good, all is good. And we're ready to pop on the road. <laughs> Okay, I cannot believe it, but if we have officially been driving for about five and a half hours, but we have officially made it to our first destination. And because we arrived here when the sun was already down, honestly, I'm not really sure what it's gonna look like. We'll keep you updated with that tomorrow morning, as well as give you a tour and all that fun stuff. But for now, we're gonna get started with dinner. Show us what's Dinner doing. is served. <laughs> so when we were at the Aeon earlier, it's like a mall that has just everything you could ever need, including 
including a supermarket. So we got some pre-made meals. All right, so dinner is served. Here's dinner. Woo. Yay. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> we ended up getting these like pre-made salads. We got a side of chicken. We also got potato salad and edamame just to share a little appetizer moment. Yeah. And it's actually pretty good. I mean, especially considering it's from a grocery store, it ended up coming out to 5.92 US dollars each for both Which buses. is really not bad at all. I think it's a steal. We're glamping. We are glamping, that's for this sure. great. Let's see how it is. It's a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, pretty good. We haven't had a salad in a while, so. Yeah. So we finished our dinner and we are just gearing up for our first night's sleep in the camper. So much room for activities. <laughs> yeah, it's a tight squeeze in here. Like, this is what we're working with. This is it. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is all we have. Honestly, it's a miracle that I can like fully fit. Do you fit? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to lie in the angle. Oh no! <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. That'll work. Uh, It'll be fine. Obviously, in a van, there are just a lot of other elements that personally I've never had to deal with because I've never done camping. Everything is just a little bit different. A lot of people have asked me if it's hard to get around Japan if you don't know English. And for me, watashi wa nihon ni sanen kan sundeimashita. Some old Japanese for you. So when I first moved to Japan, I did not know a lick of Japanese. Is it possible to get around Japan with only English? Yes, but my overall experience in Japan has gotten better since I have learned Japanese. And for me, I've primarily done that through immersion. Wait, so how am I supposed to do that if I never lived in Japan, huh? You know, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. So there's actually a lot of really helpful apps out there, such as Rosetta Stone. Well, what makes this app different? Well, if you've used other apps, you may have noticed that it's primarily memorization-based. Yeah, I don't find that very useful. Yeah, exactly. Ah. So Rosetta Stone actually focuses more on immersion learning. There's a lot of emphasis on practical conversation, so it's stuff that you're actually going to use. And they do this with a method called dynamic immersion, which basically just mirrors the way that we learn language as children. Do you think I can uh, maybe see how it works? Yes, yeah, I'll show you an example. Onaka ga isuite imasu ka. Oh, and another thing that's cool about Rosetta Stone is the pronunciation. This one's not an automated robot voice. So Rosetta Stone has the speech recognition software called True Accent, and as a user who's speaking into the app, the software will compare your pronunciation to the native speaker and offer immediate feedback. When I first moved to Japan, I had showed one of my friends one of the old apps that I was using, and they actually laughed at the pronunciation. My favorite part is definitely the phrase book. It is super easy to navigate common travel situations. So when you're learning specifically for travel, you can get acquainted to all the phrases that are going to be useful in a new country. You know, I can't see how that would be helpful. <laughs> hey babe, what are you doing? <laughs> Finally, you showed up. Take a seat. <laughs> Take a seat. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Well, are you trying to learn a new language? I mean, what you're doing looks pretty cool. Yeah, so if you're thinking about learning a new language, Rosetta Stone is definitely the one to try. That way, you can be prepared for any international adventure, wherever that may be. And if you click on the link in my bio, you can get some deals on the monthly subscription. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Or you can do a one-time payment of $149 for just a lifetime subscription. And that's literally for every language. For every language. Wow. Thanks Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this video. Good morning. It is currently 5.30 in the morning. The sun has just risen here out by Mount Fuji, but as you can see, it is so, so worth it. Like, look at that. Look at it. That's Mount Fuji. Okay, so now that I'm fully awake, an update on last night's sleeping situation. Not gonna lie, it was a little rough. The firmness of this little pad is like not ideal. I'm not sure what the up top tent is gonna be like. We're gonna try doing that tonight. It was too late by the time we arrived and we were tired, so we settled with this and it was questionable. How did you sleep? Honestly, like a baby. We had very different qualities of sleep apparently, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Hopefully that will be me tonight. 
So today we are at Lake Yamanaka. This is a gorgeous lake, but there's a lot less accessibility from Tokyo. So I find that there's kind of like less foreigners here typically because you need a car and a lot of people don't get a car. But there's a lot of really great things to do here. I've been here once before and now we're gonna go get some pancakes. There she is. It's looking busy. There was literally no one here the last time I was here. Okay, so we've officially made it to the park. Here are the pancakes in question. <laughs> They're so soft and fluffy. Definitely the best part of this experience is like the fact that the view is so beautiful. Welcome to my crib. So it is currently noon. We have a couple more hours before we're gonna try and find a spot and actually like set up camp for tonight. So I'll do like a little tour for you guys when that all happens. But first thing I need to show you guys, the window. Whee! So we came in today not really having a plan per se, but we ended up seeing so many people walking around this like lakeside road, walking, biking, and all these things. So here we are. Yay! Go biking. We rented our bikes for two hours. We're getting pretty close to the time we're supposed to be back. So gonna try and mosey along as fast as we can. It's 14 kilometers all the way around this lake and that is what we are accomplishing today. So we're gonna have to pick up the pace. It has just been the most perfect day for this. This is just kind of the trip that we've envisioned and been planning for a really long time. It's incredible to be out here and the weather is so amazing. And the likelihood of even seeing Fuji is not always super high. But now, yours truly is gonna drive so I have yet to drive on this side of the road. We both have international driver's licenses and we both said we wanted to give it a go during this trip. Obviously Tristan has had his turn by now, so we're gonna test it out. See how we go. Wish me luck. You are now looking at the new passenger princess. <laughs> Here we go. What? <laughs> 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 This is so weird. I think it's not bothering me as much to be on this side of the road, but I can't really tell how wide this car is. Okay. You're crushing it. Thank you. Look at this. We've made it into the parking lot. Woo! Yeah, yeah. We're in between the lines too. This is perfect. <laughs> First time. Done. So we've officially just made it to our next destination. We are going to attempt to camp here overnight. The camping laws here, or like the overnight car camping laws are very different where you can just kind of park Whoa. anywhere, question mark. It's still a little unclear, not gonna lie, but we'll see. Okay, I guess it's time to try going up. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, it is cushy. I'll take it. This is cute. So just to preface, at this point, I have been camping once ever. So I feel like I'm an outdoorsy person at heart. So we're gonna just see by the end of this week if I still feel that way or if maybe I'm not who I think I am. But so far, I'm enjoying it. Now it is time for a little camper van tour. First of all, right here we have lights. So as you can see, there's lights all over the van and all of them are battery powered. So there is like a main battery that we would need to recharge, but right now it seems to be doing okay. And something cool about all of these lights is that when you touch them, there's different kinds of settings. So right now these ones are set to blue because it's just like a nice cooler tone for the evening, but you can also make them brighter. In this area, we also have what we're calling our kitchen. So right here, we have a microwave, which is also powered by like a separate battery. Currently, this is where we're storing some food. Up here, we have a little top thing that is holding some snacks. Down here, so this is the water storage. So it funnels out into a pipe and then we can access some fresh water out there, which is good. And then this is also our fresh water supply that we are going to refill that with if we run out and then also for drinking water. Moving on over here, this is all stuff that came with the van. It has a lot of like um, paper plates and utensils and then things to cook on a grill. And then another thing to point out is all of the curtains. So we have curtains kind of covering all of these windows and we slept in here last night so they were definitely helpful here are the front seats we have this one flipped over completely and then we've just stacked our suitcases here for now here's some other just random miscellaneous stuff and then we just cover it up 
And other than the curtains, that's kind of it for this inside part. Okay, so then on the outside area, there's a couple fun things to share. So first of all, right here, this is the water spigot that's connected to the little water tank inside. The other main things are some storage. They're thin, but get the job done. Currently, we're not utilizing them all too much. I have some of my like socks and stuff in some of these, but other than that, not much use out of these drawers as of yet. And then right over here, there's a couple more drawers in this general vicinity. First, we have this. It's a little cutting table. We also have this. This is where we're keeping our towels at the moment. Oh, and this is also the same area that um, is in control of the battery, so we can turn it on and off. So right now it's on because I have these lights on. There are some plugs that you need to have like an extra strength battery on for, which is the same one that we use for the microwave. Kristen is currently turning that on to charge some stuff, so. Yay! <laughs> now we're in uh, energy conservation mode. We're using like the blue lights as well as the, just these front lights here. Got quite the nice spread tonight. Mm -hmm. So dinner tonight was my responsibility. Honestly, we're a bit of a hodgepodge today. We do have salads and this time we got some Caesar dressing. Got some store gyoza, some cooked salmon to put on top of the salads. Oh, the avocado, avocado. And then shrimp tempura, fried tofu. This is like one of my favorite tofu dishes. Don't Here. film this, this is a, it's just not going well. You're doing great. Does it taste good? Yep, it's good. That's all that matters. So this morning we woke up at 5 a.m. So it's another sunrise morning situation over here, except I'm feeling way more well rested than the night before the up top tent ended up being so much more comfortable. There was like a, a foam pad in there that we didn't, we didn't realize was in there. We're not really sure if we're gonna go in the up top tent again. We did like like the warmth of the inside. We'll see what we do tomorrow. But for now, we're gonna spend the day around Lake Kawaguchiko. This is a lovely area. I've only been here one other time and it was for my friend's engagement. So it's good to be back. We stayed overnight at Oishi Park, which is usually really, really busy during the day. Like when we arrived here last night, cars, tour buses everywhere, but it is just so peaceful this morning because no tours have started yet. And it is just stunning, but we do need to put the, the rooftop tent away. And it's my first time doing it. This morning's goal is to do it myself. So we'll see if Tristan needs to intervene. I feel like I'm still just having a hard time conceptualizing that this is just casually our view. Life is good. We're ready? Let's go. So there's a couple things that we would like to do today, but first stop is food. So this is a noodle dish called hoto, which is very famous in Yamanachi Prefecture specifically. So I've had it once before, it's really good. The noodles are just different. They're kind of like wider shaped instead of like a, an udon or a soba noodle. So excited to try that. We also got a little tuna on rice. I got a little Japanese curry. It's looking nice and delicious. Japanese curry. Top tier. Also, just to be like completely transparent, this is also what we're using as like a charging time. I feel like outlets are not super common here in Japan, so we are using quite a few right now. At least two. Okay, next stop on today's adventure <laughs> is the Kawaguchiko Music Forest Museum area. If I'm being completely honest, I know nothing about it other than the fact that the cherry blossoms over there are popping off right now. They're going wild. to our campsite, so I'm not really sure where we ended up, but 
we're on the top of a mountain somewhere. We've got a beautiful view of Mount Fuji, so got the smell of campfire. We found our spot for the night. The place that we were trying to go to, we didn't realize was like a paid campsite. So we can see the paid campsite and we're basically above it. They're like on the lakefront and we're just up here. But honestly, we are gonna have the most epic view of Mount Fuji in the morning if we can see it. Yeah, <laughs> weather permitting, we'll see. Another fun thing about tonight is we did the, the rooftop tent last night. It was okay for me, not as okay for Tristan. So we tried taking the little mattress pad I didn't fit. There were a couple of things and we're just gonna try it again tonight down here, but with the mattress pad. So maybe that's gonna be our sweet spot. It doesn't quite fit though, as you can see, but uh, we are gonna do our best. 